Dakota Michael, and you're tuned into the Family Collab Series. So where did the name Dakota Michael come from? So Michael was actually my government name. It's my, I'm a junior named after my father. Uh, Dakota I actually picked up when I was in school. Uh, when I had told someone it was, I told someone my name, my name was Decoder, because I like doing puzzles and whatnot. And then somebody had mistook it and said Dakota, like the state. And from there, I had kind of pieced them together, Dakota Michael, you know, it got, it got a nice ring to it. Um, and then, you know, I use Dakota primarily as my artist name. I don't like to sign stuff as Michael Pittman, just because, you know, that's my dad, too. He's a photographer as well. But uh, Dr. Seuss was one of my favorite authors. So I kind of took that spin of a pseudonym, in a sense, um, and just ran with Dakota. And it's been Dakota Michael ever since. First time I took a picture was July, July 12th. 2009 I was on a carnival cruise line and my dad had his camera on the cruise with us and he didn't he wasn't using it at the time so I kind of stole it you know went off and started taking pictures um, and it was around sunset and once I once I took that picture I realized it was just I don't know that whole that click of the flick <laughs> that click of the flick uh, just changed my life from there on I realized that was something that I wanted to do and it's a way to kind of stop time and it helped me slow down as well. That's, yeah, July 12th, 2009. I uh, educate myself to take pictures a lot better, um, more so just enhancing my own personal style. Um, I study a lot of different artists in the city um, as well as outside of the city, um, locally, the art festivals, you know, I really just, I'm a, a studier of the craft, so I just look at images in general and take different things from it, how it may be the light, and it may be um, an angle on a picture, it may be a prop that was used, you know, the details is pretty much where I'm at now, since I pretty much have the whole scope of how I want to shoot my stuff. Hmm. The one thing I wish I knew when I started taking photos was how expensive the craft can get. Uh, that would definitely allow me to pick and choose my so-called weapons. So the lenses that I use, the actual camera, it would have it would have made me apply more um, effort into the research, into my you know my tools, and my weapons, per se. Ah, uh, so I'm gonna choose. I choose Nikon. I use both of them. Um, I, that's the one thing I do like that I can pick up a Canon camera and still use it. But Nikon because that was the camera my dad always used, and that was my first camera. So you know I'm loyal to the to the brand. My motivation, primarily for taking pictures, um, is again the message of just being you, um, and it also, like I stated before, my uh, with taking the first picture, it's a that that freezing of time helps me collect myself and gather myself. So it's more so of a mental health um, practice for me, as opposed to just a, a hobby. I can make money off of it, but in all in all, it just keeps me sane. Uh, so the people whose work have influenced me the most, uh, my right-hand man, Nikhil Tajuddin, he's a photographer and graphic designer. Um, Ricky Codio, beauty photographer, dope, dope photographer in the city. Um, Drake Masters, one of my uh, other favorite and very close friends, um, he's a photographer as well. Also getting into advertising and branding. And then Salvador Dali, one of the old school surrealist painters. If I could take my art anywhere without fear of rejection, it's to the moon, it honestly is to the stars. Um, I'm doing a lot now without fear or rejection in my mind just because I took it from a, uh, a work standpoint and it's more so of a hobby. And I think that's where a lot of the pressures are drawn from, from people. Um, they try too much to really appease people instead of doing what they like and finding the people that they like. It's, a, it's billions of people in the world and everybody, I don't want a billion people to like my stuff. I'm cool with a million. I'm cool with 10,000, I'm cool with 100,000. Um, my main thing is really just the general impact that they get from the messages that I want them in particular pieces of work. Um, the fear and rejection part is a hard thing to get over though. Uh, you just gotta constantly just keep creating. I mean, something to stick, somebody will like it, somebody will not like it. Um, you, just gotta, you just gotta keep going though.